guys, welcome to No Going Back. Uh, I am here with my first ever guest on this thing. This is Daniel. Daniel. Hello. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Just a little tired. You doing good, brother? You doing good, man? All yeah. right. So me and Daniel met in New Orleans. Uh, we were both a part of uh, WrestleMania 34, right? 34, correct? Yeah, 34. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're big, yo, man. When I first met him, I was like, bro, we're gonna be best friends. Like I knew him from the moment, and we haven't talked the since. Been like four it's years, been a few months now. Uh, last time we talked was Valentine's Day last year, like almost well, yeah, a year well, ago. Yeah, when we first met, it's been we've known each other for four years. Oh right? yeah, yeah, four or five. Wow. Give or take. Oh my gosh. Well, Daniel, I feel like you're you have a very interesting story, and this is why yeah. I wanted you to be my first guest. Uh, explain, explain, explain your little situation to the viewers. So, I in 2017 I was diagnosed with a um, osteosarcoma. That's like a rare bone cancer in my right leg. Um, 30 weeks of chemo, and later, and May 18th, 2017, I was I got my first surgery to basically take out the knee and then rotate my leg up so i would still be like walk and i got three months in a cast with like replacing stitches like stitches falling out and all that and then i got my first prosthetic in like 2018 maybe oh wow so, so wait you got your first prosthetic the year that we met yeah wait so that was i believe so I, about that like i was still like a few months into it Okay. Okay. Wow. I didn't know. Yeah. That. I didn't know that. I thought you had that for like a couple of years. That's uh, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, uh, uh, one of the greatest things about Daniel is I think it's your motivation. It's your drive. You know, yeah. obviously, like I remember you when I first met you. I was like, "Yo, this kid, he's gonna take over the world someday." Like, bro, you have like this energy to you. Like when anybody meets you. Like their face lights up, and I feel like wow. that's why you're like doing so well. Uh, he's he's yeah. friends with Adam Driver. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a that's a, that's a big that's, thing. Yeah. That's a that's a thing. <laughs> you're you're in cahoots with Adam Driver. Yeah. That's crazy. That Explain that's that crazy. Story. Yeah. Explain that story. That whole Adam so, Driver thing. Um, I was running the Star Wars five k. Um, a few like almost a year after I had just started walking so and like I was trying to learn how to run mm -hmm. so they made a good morning America story on the Star Wars 5k about me and then Adam Driver somehow saw it and then he texted my mom saying well like the guys at Lucasfilm texted saying hey if you want to send Daniel something so I got a letter in the mail and it was a, like a signed Kylo Ren thing. It was like, like this, this like note. And um, it was very, very emotional to be me at that point. I didn't expect any, I didn't think anything of it. Cause you know, yeah. I, it was just like this Obviously, cool little thing. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I'm, I remember <laughs> I was on GT, we were playing video games and I remember uh, you were like, hey, I gotta go. I was like, all right. And I'm listening, and your family is like freaking out. I come yeah. back, you come back. I'm like, is everything okay? You're like, bro, 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 bro. You never uh, sent me something. I was like, oh my god, bro. I want to say like, you're was... a warrior. Like you're an absolute warrior. Thank like, you. Thank the you. Stuff that you've gone through, like I could never, I could never mm. fathom that. You know, and it's the fact that you have a smile on your face, and you like still continue to do what you do. It yeah. blows my mind, and and you're paving uh, you're paving a path for future generations with prosthesis, you know. Because I yeah. heard you're working on a new model for um, um the running the running prosthesis, correct? I actually got that a few months ago, and I've been using it. It's just it's crazy to think that like you can go so far. There's so much things you can do with yeah, just prosthetic engineering and like the door isn't quite yet that open it's still kind of shut like who knows in a few years time they could make it feel like a real life and i and you know what daniel i think it starts with you brother and i'm here i'm i'm watching your journey and you know we don't really get to keep in touch 
So I talked to Daniel yesterday. It was the first time talking to him since Valentine's Day last year, obviously. And um, but Daniel, I am I'm watching your journey, man, and I, I'm watching you grow, and it's it's beautiful to see. Beautiful to see, my man. Yeah, beautiful. Thank to you. See. Have Thank you seen you. the new Spider-Man? All right. I have. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's All right. Bad. Spoiler alerts now. If you want to yeah. skip to later in the video where we're not talking about Spider-Man, go ahead. But yeah. when Batman showed up, I had yeah. no <laughs> idea that was going to happen. Me neither. That's so that crazy. Was <laughs> Yo. All right. Where do you think the MCU is going to go next? There's so many places they can go with it. They, they could either re they could either reboot old Marvel franchises to future bring in to the MCU, or they can just keep it going like they're in the MCU now. Yeah. Or with the fact that the multiverse is just now open in the MCU is just it's crazy to think about. Bro, There's I so think much it, things they could do. I think it's crazy because now that they opened up the multiverse, now it's gonna be like X Men, and then. You know, they're going to get into mutants. Yeah. And then, like, now that they Deadpool just signed a deal with the MCU, now the Deadpool's <laughs> in the MCU now. Oh, this is, man. It's gonna be so Marvel bad. is... It's going to be so bad. But, oh, man, I'm, I'm excited to see wherever they go with this because, you know, I'm a big Marvel fan. I love Marvel. Yeah. I had a Marvel poster somewhere. <laughs> but I love Marvel, man, and I can't wait to see what they same do with here, that. Same here this MCU oh, man. now the thing that brought me and Daniel together was the love of pro wrestling Daniel yes pro wrestling I think you are one of the most devoted pro wrestling fans I have ever met yeah and mind you we met a lot of wrestlers at, w uh -huh. at, at Wrestlemania so like bro where did it how did you start like getting into WWE where was that thought process um my dad started watching it um when i was i he was started watching it before i was born he was a really big wrestling fan um he was watching it when like hulk hogan and them were still in like the wwe or like wwf uh -huh. Uh -huh. and he got me into it I, I remember just watching like cm punk john c the Miz, like The yeah. Rock on occasions, Triple H, oh, like bro. the big guys who like don't really do that much wrestling anymore. Mm -hmm. Man, I I thought I thought it started with me when I uh, my brother was on YouTube when YouTube first became a thing back in like two thousand eight, six or seven. Nine. Yeah, oh, two thousand six or seven, brother. I would have been five, like two, but I, I, it was like two thousand eight <laughs> or two thousand nine. I was, uh, my brother was watching our truth clips because he was like really, oh, yeah. at the time. And I was like, what's this? And then we got into wrestling, and the rest is history. The rest is yeah. history. Now, I will say, WWE took care of us, bro. WWE. They, they did. Bro, they, we they were, took really good care of us. They took really good care of us. We were staying at the best hotel in New Orleans, meeting all the wrestlers. Bro, yeah. oh my gosh. What what was that experience like? You know, like riding with John Cena in a float. Like imagine. That's, that's oh that's just crazy. Because oh, like bro, you know, John big. Cena, he's like he's big with make a wish. He's granted over like a hundred or so wishes. Like, yeah, a lot of wishes. Yeah. And like he's this big movie star, WWE guy. He's he's just popular and yeah. it was crazy to think that you know out of all the make-a-wish kids like in new orleans he he only rode with the make-a-wish kids bro, like, that it was, was crazy crazy bro when i when <sighs> we heard that music hit bro when we heard that bam, bam, yeah. bro, we were freaking out we were screaming yeah. i think saw some people crying like it was yeah there was a few people was crying amazing. it was such an amazing i, I actually remember um, when we got to the airport in New Orleans, they were playing the John Cena theme on the trumpet and like the instruments. Bro, I remember that they had the big uh, band, New Orleans. Yeah, band. The, the front. It was crazy. Oh, that was so much fun. And the energy was just there. They unboxing. What do you think about Logan and Jake Paul? Logan.
Logan Paul, I I don't know. He is like he's a wild card for sure. Well, him and Jake really both are, but Logan Paul is more like we don't know what he's really gonna do next. But Jake Paul, he's kind of has his sights set on UFC as a whole. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. He keeps on taunting Dana White, uh, the president yeah. of UFC. I feel like for someone who knows, uh, ha- like not knows but understands like how to get in the UFC and how these fighters who aren't in main event slots are fighting and clawing to the top literally uh i don't think dana white's just gonna give it to this privileged kid from ohio i I don't think it's gonna happen i think what what he's gonna do jake paul is gonna do he had he's gonna have his own business you know he has his own promotions i think he's gonna have his own mma match and it's gonna be with most valuable promotions jake paul's company and uh i want to see how that goes i don't know who what MMA fighter wants to fight him? Uh, I know Miles Vidal was chatting in his ear. Um, what was that dude's name? The guy that beat Conor McGregor the first Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. Yeah. Nate, D- Nate Diaz is talking in his ear. I don't know, man. I think Jake Jake's becoming something. Coming to yeah. my ass. We're gonna talk about Netflix. You're you're a big Netflix fan. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big Netflix fan. If you guys have not seen Cobra Kai season four yet. This is going to be another, you know, you have to kind of jump and, you know, spoilers are coming soon. Man, yeah. woo, that last episode. Yeah, that was. Bro, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Something. Bro, whatever the something. guys, whatever the guys at Netflix go and decide with their new story. Because I don't know, man. It's just. It's crazy. It's a when huge I saw John, time. Well, when I saw John Kreese, uh and the police showed up, I was yeah, like, that was, oh, no. oh shoot, it's oh, getting, no. getting deep. I think John Kreese is going to become a good guy. I believe that too. I feel like he's going to realize that he unleashed something you probably shouldn't have released. Yeah, like and, and you saw Silver. that uh, the All Valley, like him and Kreese yeah. were kind of like button heads a little bit. And yeah. He was like, all right. I Even before, know. like in the yeah. show, when they were taking bets on who was gonna who was gonna win and be like a six pack, they mm-hmm. were like, they were just betting against each other. So, like, they kind of yeah, showed it. There's a lot of bad blood there, man. Who would have thought you could have like taken so much out of the uh, Karate Kid storyline yeah. and and brought it brought it to screen? Welcome. Before we head out, I want to talk about a little project that I am working on. You guys are now officially part of the crew. Now, if you don't know what the crew is, uh, it's basically what I'm going to call you guys. You're my crew. You're the crew. You know, we are the fastest growing channel. That's a fact. That's a fact. Every day I check, I get a new subscriber. That's amazing. We're growing so fast and I'm so happy. So if y'all want to join the crew, hit that goddamn subscribe button for me. Please smack it in the face. Uh, Are you going to do any pro wrestling? Are you gonna get? Uh, I hope to do it sometime in the future. Uh, there's not really perform. There's not really areas here in Florida that I could do because you know the PC is so popular here, and like this WWE is prominent in the Orlando area. But I'm trying to look. Um, there's a few out of state that I might consider going to, like in North Carolina. And Daniel, stuff. I will be there every step of the way, and I will not underestimate you in that squared circle, brother. I'm gonna yeah. head out. Thank you for watching. No going back. Thank you. Daniel for joining Thank us you. here today, Thank brother. You. Thank you for having me. Oh, man. I love you, brother. I will see you soon. Me too, man. See you soon. Hopefully sometime before COVID ends. Like, before COVID is... Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'll, I'll come yeah. down to Orlando. I'll come down to Orlando. You know it. You know it. All right, yeah. guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd also like to thank Daniel for joining us. Thank you and subscribe.